Hi everyone, it's nice to see you again. Today I have another nonfiction animal book. This book is about the great white shark. I hope you like it and don't be scared, it's just a book. Killers of the Animal Kingdom, Great White Sharks. Kind of a lengthier table of contents here. We're not gonna read all the chapters, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of information about the great white. First chapter is Great White Killer. Let's get started. Here's our heading, Great White Killer. Great white sharks are known as some of the fiercest killers in the ocean. Not only are they the largest predator fish in the world, they are also found in many parts of the world's oceans. They eat many different animals, from smaller fish and other sharks, to large mammals, such as sea lions and seals. These sharks are born killers. Great white sharks are known for being aggressive. With their strong senses, sharp teeth, speed, and agility, these sharks are unstoppable force. These predatory fish are famous for putting up a fight and winning. Here's a photo of a great white shark. Let's see what this caption says. It's easy to see why great white sharks are known as the most fearsome fish in the ocean. Why do you think? Maybe because they're so big? Maybe because they look so strong? Or how about those teeth? This next chapter is called Built for the Kill. Great white sharks' bodies are built for the kill. They usually grow to be around 15 feet long. However, some have been measured at nearly 20 feet. They can weigh up to 6,500 pounds. Ooh, here's a killer fact. Female sharks are usually larger than male sharks. These massive females can give birth to up to 12 babies at a time. Even their young are massive at about five feet long at birth. I'm actually five feet tall, which means that a baby shark is the same size as me. These huge predators have a torpedo shaped body to help them move through water quickly. They can reach speeds of up to 43 miles per hour. Their tail whips side to side to propel them forward as their fins slice through the water. Their white belly and darker body help them blend in with the ocean water and take prey by surprise. Up here it says, great white sharks usually have gray bodies, but some are dark blue, black, or brown. Hmm, I didn't know that. Terrifying teeth. Have you ever seen a shark tooth? People often collect them and use them in jewelry. I don't think I want shark tooth in jewelry. Great white shark teeth are sharp, triangular, and jagged. Perfect for tearing into their prey's flesh. Great white sharks have more than 300 of these sharp teeth. Can you believe that? 300 teeth. Great white sharks have about seven rows of teeth in their mouth. They tend to lose a lot of teeth. In fact, a great white shark can lose up to a thousand teeth during its lifetime. Luckily for the shark, more teeth grow in their place. These teeth help the shark to rip off huge chunks of meat from their prey. Here's another killer fact. Great white sharks are related to an ancient shark called the Megalodon. The Megalodon existed more than 20 million years ago. The size of a Megalodon teeth means it may have been as big as a school bus. Can you believe that? Hmm. Great white sharks can bite down with almost two tons of force. 
so many interesting facts that I didn't know. Let's keep reading. We're going to read one more chapter. This chapter is called Strong Senses, Born for the Hunt, A Shark's Life, Predator of the Sea, Unlucky Prey, oh, poor little seal. How about we finish off with sharks and people? More than a hundred shark attacks happen each year around the world. Great white sharks are to blame for about one third to one half of these attacks. In different areas, the number of people who die from shark attacks varies. However, people usually don't die from shark bites. Many scientists believe great white shark bites, great white sharks bite humans thinking they are normal prey, such as a seal, and then let go when they realize the human isn't a seal. This is called sample biting. So the shark is taking a little, oh, that's a person. I don't want that. Let's you go. Sometimes, I'm sure. People are much more harmful to sharks than sharks are to people. Great white sharks are being overfished for their fins, which some people use to make shark fin soup. We need great white sharks because they have an important role in the ocean, in the ocean food chain. This reminds me of that book we've read before, If Sharks Disappear. Do you remember reading that? Let's read this killer fact over here. In 1975, the, thriddle, the thriller film Jaws, which was directed by Steven Spielberg and based on Peter Benchley's 1974 novel of the same name, was released in the United States. So this is a movie called Jaws. Maybe you've seen it. Maybe your family has seen it. It's kind of an older movie. The movie is about a huge great white shark that attacks people in a coastal community in New England. So it's just a movie. Here we are. The sign says, advisory, shark sighted, enter at your own risk. So be careful. If sharks have been spotted near a coastline, be sure to stay out of the water until the authorities say it's okay to go in the water. I think we would all follow this sign, right? Sharks, no thank you. Not going in the water. Here is our glossary. Remember that the purpose of the glossary is to give us some of the important words that we saw throughout the book. So we have the name of the important word and then the definition. What does that word mean? And at the very end of this book, we have the index. We have some important words that we see throughout the book and what page you can find them on. For example, if I was interested in the Megalodon, I can see that Megalodon is on page eight. I could go back to page eight and reread the section on the Megalodon. I hope you liked that nonfiction book about sharks. Remember that if you wanted to learn more about sharks, we wouldn't just stop at this book. Instead, we could read other books about sharks or ocean animals. We could also, you know, use different resources to find more information like Google or Britannica. Lots of different resources to find more information. You can go on YouTube and watch videos. Lots of options. I hope you all are doing well at home, and I will see you soon. Bye, everyone.